Hello everyone, my name is Kotetsu and welcome back to my channel. I've actually just uploaded a video literally about 10 seconds ago and I thought I would really quickly make a follow-up video because again it's another article that was very quick and didn't really tell us too much but it's interesting nonetheless. This one really will not take long to talk about at all. You probably saw this the other day on the Warhammer community website, but it's the fact that Lookout Sir is coming to Age of Sigma. This was a rule that was in 40k, and I'm going to have to apologise here because I can't remember exactly the history of this rule, but I remember it being in, I think, 6th edition 40k, and I don't really know much about it before that. But back then, the idea was that if you had a general or a character of some description hiding within a unit, obviously it would be harder to single them out with gunfire, so you would roll a dice and on a 4 up they passed, which meant that the bullet that would have hit them hit someone else in the unit instead. Was it ever in fantasy? I can't actually remember to be honest, but basically they've kind of taken a new version of it and they've adapted it and put it into Age of Sigma. And it's interesting because they've got some really good logic behind the way they've incorporated it, but at the same time, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed with it. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm glad it's there, 100% it should be there. The game is better for it, but I kind of wish there was almost extra protection because it goes kind of partially there to protect your characters, but it's not the answer to keeping your heroes alive against ranged attacks. Now, you have to credit Games Workshop because they are listening to the community. When they did that big Warhammer survey, I think I actually talked about ranged attacks. I did send them a very long message, so I'm pretty sure this was something I covered, but I'm sure I'm not the only one who's been talking about it to them. The problem is that I love the heroes and I want to take them in my games, but I don't want them to be sniped off the board immediately. Although there's not an enormous number of ranged units, in fact it even says that here, given the relatively small number of ranged units in Age of Sigma, although there's not that many of them, there's very definitely the potential for characters to die too quickly. I mean, I know this is a bit of an extreme example, but I was playing one game with Sylvaneth against someone else who had um, Archeon, and all of these crazy chaos models across the board, and I think I killed Archeon way too quickly using Kurnoth Hunters, like he was absolutely decimated. The new rules won't stop situations like that happening at all, but when you've got a character that costs as many points as he does and you can kill him that quickly by shooting Kurnoth Hunters at him, it's certainly something to consider. Just general sort of human sized or stormcast sized or whatever armor you collect, just sort of general characters like your Neve Black Talons or whatever it might be, I don't think they should be taken out of the game too quickly, because I love the storyline, you guys know that by now. I read the books, I love them. The characters to me are what make the game interesting. When I'm playing a game of Age of Sigmar, to me it's all about the characters and imagining like you're reenacting some of the famous battles from the storylines and all of that kind of stuff. That's what I enjoy doing, that's my thing. I don't even really play narrative battles, but just in the back of my mind, the way I build my lists and armies and the way I think about playing the games, there's always some kind of narrative theme locked away in the back there. So basically the idea is if you have a hero near a unit and that unit has to have at least three or more models in it, you have to subtract one from the hit rolls. It makes sense, it's good, it's very simple, it's a lot more simple than the rule in 40k. Anything that involves rolling less dice is more simple. It doesn't apply if the hero is a monster, it says it right there. But here's the thing, like say you've got a unit of judicators with crossbow, in fact let's actually do the maths on this. Right, so for those of you who haven't used this, this is Kablam's Math Hammer page, and I was messing around earlier, and I thought if you take a unit of, say, Judicators with crossbows, okay? So you've got a unit of 10 of them. They fire two shots each, but they also fire an extra one if they haven't moved. They hit on a three, they wound on a four, there's no rend, okay? But if they're at minus one to hit, they're now 30 shots on a four up, which wounds on a four, and for the target, I've picked someone with a generic four up save, okay? So if we calculate that, without any penalty, they're doing five damage, 
in a round of shooting, which is pretty impressive. Like, I'm a big fan of that. It's pretty dangerous for range shooting, and you haven't even taken into account their special weapons, which are these, I think they're called the Thunderstrike crossbows, or something like that. They're very deadly. But when you add that penalty on, they're going to 3.75 damage on average, which is basically four. Let's face it, three and three quarters is basically four, which means you're only actually dealing one less damage on average in a round of shooting from that one unit. You you are reducing that damage but it's not actually as much as you would probably think. It's undeniable that all of these are better. It's undeniable that these have been significantly reduced, but it's not enough to seriously hamper, in my opinion, the ability to do massive range damage to some of these heroes. Now, Stormcast are actually very good at shooting. They hit on a 3+. plus. If you took that same unit and they hit on a 4+, plus by default, then basically I guess if you were reducing them to a 5 up you would be looking at a very different story. But then again I guess you could argue that they weren't that great in the first place. But yeah I'm interested to see what you guys think. I mean they're saying here there's lots of interesting tactical dilemmas to the game. Do you make a less efficient shooting attack or do you try and take out his retinue first? I mean by the time you're trying to do all of that extra damage to his retinue it's going to take so long that really you might as well just direct all of that shooting straight at him and that's my personal opinion. I like the fact they're thinking about these issues and I like the fact they're kind of tweaking it without ruining things. They're adding changes that are definitely better, more complex and should be there but at the same time if people are really really frustrated about that one person who keeps sniping all their heroes off the board I don't think this is completely gonna change that. One thing I do think is interesting is that with all of these new rules they're adding, it's opening up the possibility for quite a more expanded and complex set of rules for Age of Sigma. I'm wondering if they're actually doing the whole 40k 8th edition thing where we're going to get the core rules which are free, and then the core book that's going to come out is going to have basically like an advanced rules section. I'm basically talking about an Age of Sigma version of this exact book here, and I think that's quite likely. I think they've already mentioned in one of the articles that there is going to be a core book and it's going to have about 200 pages of lore. I don't think I'm making that up, but I can definitely imagine that it's going to follow a very similar format to this book and that we're going to have this like core rules section and then there's going to be the advanced rules, which explain all of the command points and the lookout sir rules and all of, there we go, advanced rules. I think it's going to follow this exact format, but what do you guys think about that too? Let me know down below. And yeah, this is video number two for tonight. I don't know if I've got the uh, energy to finish editing the third one, but I have also recorded one on a Slanesh faction focus, so hopefully I can get that to you guys really soon too. But otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day or evening or night, wherever the hell you are in the world, and I will speak to you guys really soon. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, all that jazz, hit the uh, bell icon so you know when my videos come out. And yeah, leave a comment down below and I will see you guys really soon.